Coming off a four-day holiday break, the Edmonton Oilers return to action as they host the Vancouver Canucks at Rogers Place tonight. Now the Vancouver Canucks are 6-2-1 in their last nine games while maintaining a perfect penalty kill percentage during that stretch. Now Oilers head coach Ken Hitchcock has made some changes to the lineup as Alex Chason joins Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl on the team's top line. r &H will be flanked by Jesse Ployarvi and Tobias Reeder. Now, Jujar Kara is serving game number two of his two-game suspension, while Drake Kajula and Jason Garrison are both out with the flu, which draws in Weidman alongside Jones tonight. Now, Miko Koskinen is also in the starter's net as he looks to improve on his 11-5-1 record on the season. Uh, I was looking forward to, to getting back on the ice, though, and then um, this is... Uh, you can kind of consider it the second half. It's big for us to, to come out here and um, start on the right foot. That was a game that uh, we felt we, we could have and should have played a lot better. Um, and it's, it's a, you know, a big job for us to come out here and play, uh, play our top game tonight. This is a team that uh, has had a lot of success, especially as of late. And uh, yeah, it's going uh, to be a tough opponent. And you know, it's gonna be, uh, we have to bring our best ever here on home ice. Yeah, they work hard. Um, you know, they're, uh, they're a team that relies on the power play. Um, you know, they... You know, defend well and, and check hard and um, you know kind of you know they can score five on five but their power play has been real good for them and we saw that in, in, in our game so um, you know, it's something that we got to you know, try and stay out of the box. They're on top of their game. Vancouver's on top of their checking game. Their group of defensemen is playing as well as anybody in the West right now. Their goaltending is making big saves but even then they're not getting many shots against. I looking back on it I, I don't I don't want to say I misspoke but I, I look back at the game, and 5-on-5, five five, we played way better than I thought we did, way better. And there's a lot of things we can draw on from that game, 5-on-5, five five, but we gave up three power play goals, I think, and uh, they took advantage of it. And tonight's game is available on Sportsnet 1 with puck drop at 7 p.m. As always, EmptonOilers.com will have you covered throughout the game day, including the live post-game show right after the final buzzer. Tony Brar, Oilers TV.